to pursue occupational therapy. Make a difference. At the end of the day, everyone wants to know that what they're doing is impacting someone in a positive way. When your client smiles after achieving a goal, the delight in their eyes will stay with you. This is very different from the draining work of cubicle jobs. No more monotony. Meaning, as an occupational therapist, you will likely never endure monotony on the job again. Clients have several op problems and you will have several different options. You can include whatever therapy specialties or activities you like. Will you succeed? Oh yes indeed. Oh yes indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Career in demand? OT is set to take off in the next several years. The baby boomers are quickly approaching the geriatric section of healthcare and beginning to need OT more than ever. Salary. OT is ranked 18 out of the 150 best recession-proof jobs overall and 35th in the best paying recession-proof jobs. Creativity. You can be as creative as you want. The sky is the limit. As an OT, you will have the chance to come up with interesting and off-the-wall ideas to help your clients. This can be challenging, but more than, but more so very rewarding. From, From there, there to here, here and here to there, OTs are everywhere. Paid to travel? Do you like to travel? Why not get paid for it? You can get hired to be a traveling OT. These jobs can last up to three months and are available in many places here in the U.S. and overseas. Dynamic work environment. You want to work in a hospital? Okay. Want to work for a private company? Fine. Want to do house calls? Yes. Want to work in a school so that you'll be on the same schedule as your own children? All right. <laughs> OTs work in all these places and in many more. Today, Today is your day, so get on your way. Your mountain is waiting. Stop. OT in action, here's high definition for you. High school is a time in an adolescent's life that is marked by many internal and external factors. These factors affect the overall performance of each individual in the social and educational setting. A student's educational performance affects his or her level of confidence and self-esteem necessary for the transition from high school to college. Adeline is currently a high school senior looking forward to attending State College in the fall. She has difficulty focusing and sustaining attention for long periods of time, fails to finish her schoolwork and chores, often makes careless mistakes in her schoolwork, and loses items needed to complete her assignments. She is forgetful in daily activities, does not always follow them through on instruction, and fears that this will inevitably affect her success in college pursuits. Well, I'm really worried with going to college because I have a hard time staying on task. I can never pay attention in class. I get sidetracked with my projects, I can't stay organized, uh, is there a way you can help me? Well, as your OT, I do have some strategies that can help you stay focused and maintain your attention. Really? How, how would we do that? Well, first I have this planner that I think would help you. You could write down your assignments and important dates and appointments that you might have, and I think that might come in handy. <laughs> Is there a place for a note so I can help remember them? Yes, there is. In the back of the book, if you see, there's extra space for notes. Okay, good. Thank you. I also have this binder, and it is color-coded so that you can put all of your classes in, and then you can organize your work and further divide it as you need to. Wonderful. That should work. I'll certainly try it. Thanks to the strategies I've learned from my OT, I have been able to make the transition from high school to college smoothly. My study habits have become better, my grades have improved, and my attention span has increased. Sports is a valued occupation in the life of an adolescent. A physical injury can be a devastating event in the life of an athlete. Bianca is planning to attend Dominican College on a full athletic scholarship. During a recent basketball game, Bianca suffered a shoulder dislocation. As a result, she is facing difficulty carrying out her basic activities of daily living both in school and at home. This physical injury has affected her performance in various contexts. Bianca, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. My shoulder's getting stronger and stronger every day. Um, the exercises you gave me to do at home really helped. That's really good to hear. We're going to start incorporating some basketball skills into our session so we can get you onto the court as soon as possible. Um, after you heat and stretch, we'll see how your range of motion is compared to when you first started and we'll take it from there. Sounds good? So we'll start with range of motion and we'll side. With your left hand, if you can raise it all the way up. Okay, great job. Can you, with your right hand, move it all the way up towards the ceiling as well? That's great. When you first started, you were actually not able to go this far, so your progress is absolutely great. 
Now, we'll start with some simple chest passes. So we'll go All this. right. So we'll start really close, and we're just going to do simple chest passes. Um, don't overexert yourself, just do what you can, okay? And then we'll build up your strength by moving back a little bit more. Okay. Okay, that's great. How do you feel about your session today? Uh, I feel a little sore, a little tired, but definitely better than before. Good. Well, you did a really great job. And as our sessions continue, we'll focus on increasing your strength more. I never thought I'd play ball again. Yeah. If it wasn't for my OT, I would never be back on the court and have my confidence to play again. Every day it gets easier and easier for me to play, and I look forward to playing to my maximum potential. A parent suffering from a health condition directly affects the lives of all surrounding family members. When a parent suffers a stroke, he or she is unable to independently fulfill his or her roles. In these types of situations, the family responsibilities may shift. Often, the children obtain greater responsibilities while playing a vital role in the parent's recovery process. Melinda is a single mother with two adolescent girls. She is responsible for all the cooking, cleaning, shopping, and transportation of the household. Two months ago, she suffered a stroke, leaving her left side profoundly weakened. She is currently receiving occupational therapy service to address now that these. We're three weeks into your recovery process, how do you feel? Uh, I still feel frustrated, and um, I don't. I just want things to go back to how they were before. And I'm trying my hardest, though, so that's good. But my my support team is here, so my daughter is very supportive. She does everything for me. Well, you've come a long way since you started, and every day you're getting stronger and stronger. We're well, just going to focus on your recovery, and we're going to focus on helping having your daughter be a part of your recovery process as well. Um, for now, we're going to work on a kitchen activity. Um, do you know how to make tea? Okay, I would like you to uh, get all the necessary items from the cabinet. Okay. Mindy, it's a, great, it's a great thing that you're helping your mother, but I think we need to focus on having her be independent during the kitchen activities and what she does at home so that way she can be better and better with her strengthening. Um, we also want to focus more on getting her independent because you won't always be around. Occupational therapy has had an amazing impact on my mother's life. Without it, she wouldn't be as independent as she is. She functions so much better than she did when she first had the stroke and she has um, her self-esteem has really really gone up so without occupational therapy I don't think we would be where we are today. I want to be an OTR so Thank <laughs> you.